The Peace Council is in the Banda district on a fact-finding mission after the clashes involving N the NPP and the NDC over the ongoing register voter registration exercise. A 28-year-old Silas Wulochami uh, died on Tuesday morning after he was stabbed in the back to death at Cabrono near the Banda in that region. The fresh graduate from Akimoda Teacher Training College was allegedly accosted by some NPP uh, activists at a barricade near Cabrono on Monday whilst he was returning from a visit to his pastor at the Wenchi Methodist. The Bono Regional Executive Secretary of the National Peace Council, Swala Abdallah Kwanda, says they are meeting the leadership of both the NDC and the MPP with expectations of facilitating peace among the factions. Precious Semifor, Semifor joins me on the line with details. Hi, Precious. Precious, can you hear me? Okay, looks like Precious is unable to hear me. Precious, I'm hoping that you can right now. If you do hear me, tell us if that meeting has happened, the meeting between the National Peace Council and the feuding factions, the NPP and the NDC in the region. Can you tell us? Uh, whether it has happened and how did it go? Okay, looks like Precious can't hear me. Let's try and raise him uh, back on so we can get to speak to him. But essentially the story is that yesterday there were some clashes between the NPP and the NDC in the Banda um, constituency. Uh, uh, in the Bono region, and one person died. This gentleman who died, we're told, is not a politically in, uh, aligned person. According to his family, he had just visited his pastor and was returning home, but got uh, mixed up in the crossfire when the NPP and the NDC engaged each other in uh, some brief moment of violence at the registration center in the area. That gentleman who you see on your screen right now has died. He's a fresh graduate from teacher training college and um, 28 years old. We spoke to his brother yesterday who narrated to us what the police says, uh, what the doctor says. According to him, the doctor says his, uh, his blood flow was interrupted with the stab, which was in the back, according to eyewitnesses. We're also being told that by the police that no one has been arrested as of yesterday. Today, the Peace Council is in the region. We'll be getting more when our correspondent, Precious Simivo, joins me with those details. 